Welcome to the Special Delivery Damn Near Daily Podcast. I'm your host, Special, and this is day four of the 30-day challenge. Since it is Thursday, I wanted to do a throwback. This episode is with Ab Joe, and it's from 2012. It also may be a little cringy. I apologize, but hey, that's growth. This was when he dropped his project, We Run the Night, and let's just hop into it. On the phone lines, we got the homie Abjo. How are you today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Very good. That's good. Congratulations. You just released your newest project, We Run the Night. How does it feel? <laughs> it was kind of spur of the moment, but I've been getting good responses. So, yeah, I'm real good. Why was it so spur of the moment? You're just like, okay, like, boom, or you kind of wanted to throw it at people randomly? I, yeah, that's exactly that. I kind of just, I hadn't been putting very much, you know, material out. And <laughs> so it's like, you know what? These, some cats may have heard, some ca- cats may not have heard. Just like I, I'd have all these tracks that I, you know, I don't, I don't do very many collaborations, but I have them and I put them out and there you go. <laughs> Boom. And then so these collaborations, did you have a vision kind of behind the tape? Was the vision to do collaborations or is there a concise thing like throughout all the tracks or what was the vision behind it? The, it was kind of just to put out there that I'm, I'm doing, I am doing stuff, but more <laughs> so like with other cats and like with Bam and the rest of them, we've been, you know, we've been working on things since, I don't know, the last time I dropped something, the last time that they dropped something, what, what have you. You know, I just kind of wanted to be like, hey, like I'm in the mix too. And like if nobody's heard and nobody's paid attention, like I'm just kind of like, you know, everybody's got to, you know, every once in a while, if they haven't been busy or haven't been, you know, available, or something, mm-hmm. I might just kind of, hey, I'm here. I'm alive. <laughs> exactly. Like, hey, I'm still working on music. I'm not, you know, somewhere else doing something different. Exactly. And more so just like that was kind of just like the precur- precursor for things. Like I, me and Chewy have more stuff up ahead. Mr. Brady, all those cats that I, you know, featured on the tape. Those are, it's all announced future collaborations. You know, Good. that's stuff. That's exactly. I was going to ask. Boom. <laughs> I've talked to different producers. They always talk about visions with beats. Like producers are very vision heavy. Is there a specific beat on that tape that you could tell me like, oh, I remember I was like, OK, you know, the exact vision behind one of them. OK, for sure. If anything, because most of those cats, I'm not not diminishing, but, you know, I gave this cat's beats and they fuck with me really tough. Like shout out to Trade Voorhees. That's mm-hmm. the homie right there. Um, he, He's so he, talented. Just, very talented. I he may think that I'm the best producer in the world, but he has some stuff out there. I definitely mm-hmm. dig his shit, and so I list, I still listen to stuff of his every day. The track, anything that he did, what he did, what he did with the video specifically was very neat. I dug that, mm-hmm. but that was just something I just kind of gave to him. He just found. I didn't have a vision for it. I just like, hey, you like the beat, go for it. Nice. But there was one beat in particular, Chewy, the livest one, and mm-hmm. he. He was exactly what I was looking for at the time, and it still is. Like, like specifically the delivery, the flow, the sound, all that good shit. He immediately vibed on that, and I didn't even have to give him a story or a description. Mm-hmm. I just said, "Hey, this is kind of what I'm looking for." And then, like, he he was part of the production process as far as I had the beat done, but as far as what we would do with how the song was overall gonna feel and, and sound, mm-hmm. it was his idea originally to put that sample from Ten Crack Commandments into the song, and so I took it and sampled it and, and scratched it and shit, and so. It was perfect. It just worked. Like I had this name of the song, but he he took it and went another step with it. And so I had that vision like that came out from start to finish exactly how I wanted. That's so, so dope. I love that. That leads me to asking on afternoon. He's talking about how he missed the bus and then you hear a bus go by. Was that you or was that him? That was that was Ben. Like I said, I, I work with them like. I work with a team of people like it's like I'm producing and stuff like that. I had the beat, but I'm just a producer. Mm-hmm. So I was grabbing some stuff and Bam took it where he, you know, he decided to put sounds behind stuff. And for him, he was, you know, Chewy, you know, like we're, we're, we'd all be in the same place hanging out at Bam's place. And sometimes Bam and Chewy's there. Sometimes I'm there with Chewy. Sometimes Bam mm-hmm. is there with me. And one of those days, um, he decided the bus and some other sounds back there would go really well. But like, if you could hear, I don't even want to go into description because there's so many things we discussed about what we want to do with the song and with the mm-hmm. video and stuff like that, that we want to do for it. Mm-hmm. We wanted to, it, you know, it's the Weekenders thing mm-hmm. that we, we wanted to feel like a movie of some sort. Nice. And so that was like a scene. And so the bus passing and like that was kind of like the torch, the, the the rhyme being passed. Like, next dude up. Uh-huh. You know, after that was who? Yeah, that was Ben. Ben yeah. was directly after him. That's so dope. I, oh, my goodness. That's crazy, crazy and then, of course, you've been working a lot with Carlita Duran. She even said last night that, like, you're her favorite producer, which I think is so dope because you guys work yeah. so well together. What can you tell me about the work coming up with her? She has an album coming out, I'll Be Gorgeous When I Die. Yes. And um, 
she uh, she's working steadily, very hard on that. But I have at least five or six on that album nice. that we've been going back and forth on for months now, and so it's turned out to be pretty good. Um, I did I I may have accidentally leaked one of the tracks, but <laughs> I don't remember when and where. But I'm pretty sure I pushed it just because I had the, the beat was something I had made a long time ago, and I ended up giving to her to to work with. So yeah, it should it should be pretty good. It's a step up I, from we the first time we ever worked together was on Nostalgic Nights, her EP yes. with mm-hmm. the awesome. That's awesome album cover. And she uh, uh, she just reached out to me. I don't know where from or how or look, like, hey, emailed me. And, and from there, it was just like she'd been, I, I guess, falling in love with my production, as she says. Wow, it's just random and it just clicked and it just boom, boom, boom. Now five to six tracks on the album. I love that. She's one of my favorite vocalists out right now. So that was great, like working together and like hearing her over my stuff. The awesome part about the kicker was that it worked. Mm-hmm. You know, you might like a producer. You might like another artist and how she or he does you know what they do but sometimes it doesn't meld very well but with her it just bam works nice i love that so much and then of course you just dropped we run the night so the people should be pretty satisfied with that but what else can we expect coming up next from you um it's been pretty tough i'll be honest with this i've been working on an album for a while now and it's kind of not tumultuous it's it's i've been i've been thinking of it as a side project but i've been trying not to it's um it's me trying to turn it up a bit Mm-hmm. As far as things go, I've been experimenting more ex- electronically, but long story short, selection. I'm trying to come out with another selection album, and mm-hmm. so there's that, and then, I don't know, just more more production. I'm, I'm trying to get back to producing for cast and really trying to do shit, you know, more beat tapes, more other stuff, you know, back on the grind. Well, I've always been, but, you know. <laughs> Back on, you know, the grind, that grind. The grind that we can see, you know, see, exactly, actually exactly. putting stuff out, I feel it all yeah. good. Thank you so much for checking out this episode of Special Delivery. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that follow or subscribe button on whatever you're listening on and reach out to me. Let me know what your favorite part was. I'm on Twitter at Special Says and on Instagram and Snapchat. Those are at Special Says as well. And thanks again for listening.